Finding the center of a dataset is one of the most common ways to summarize statistical findings. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the mean, median, and mode of a dataset. The mean, often referred to as an average, is calculated using the following two steps. First, add all of the observations in the dataset, and finally, divide the total sum from step 1 by the number of data points in the dataset. Imagine that we want to calculate average of a data set with the following nine observations. Step one, calculate the total. Step two, divide the total by the number of observations. So for our data set, the total is equal to 45 and the number of observations is equal to nine and hence the mean or the average of this data set is equal to five. Now let's calculate the median of the same series of the data. Median is the value that, assuming the dataset is ordered from smallest to largest, falls in the middle. If there are even number of values in a dataset, we can report the average of the two middle numbers as the median of the dataset. There are two steps involved with finding the median of a dataset. First, order the values in dataset from smallest to largest, and the second step is to identify the numbers that fall in the middle. Let's arrange the data points from smallest to largest. The center of the data set and hence the median is 6. Suppose we had 8 data points instead of 9. Here is how the data set with 8 points arranged from smallest to largest would look like. So the middle two numbers are 4 and 6 and the average of the two is 5 which is the new median of the data set. Now let's calculate the mode of the original data set with 9 data points. Mode is the most frequently occurring observation in the data set. A dataset can have multiple modes if there is more than one value with the same maximum frequency. I would recommend you follow these two steps to calculate the mode of any dataset. First, find the frequency of every unique number in the dataset, and second, determine which number has the highest frequency. So, for our dataset, the frequency of every number is as follows. The number with the highest frequency is 6, and hence the mode is 6. Now let's see how we can use Python to find these three measures of central tendency. To find the mean, first we need to add the values together and let's set a new variable total equal to the answer. Divide total by the number of observations in the dataset and set mean underscore value to the answer. While we can calculate the average manually, but it becomes time consuming as the size of the dataset increases. The average function from NumPy module can significantly simplify the task of finding the mean. Let's see how we can use np.average to calculate the mean of a dataset with 9 values. Let's first create an array data that contains all our data points. We need to import the NumPy module. Type import NumPy as np. Then we can write the following code to calculate the average and store the result in a variable named data underscore average. Similarly, the median function from NumPy module can be used to find the median of the dataset. Type np.median data to calculate the median of the dataset with the nine values. These two lines of code prints the median of the dataset, which happens to be 6 in this case. Recall the mean of this dataset is 5. It's worth noting that the two values are close, but not equal. Finally, the scipy stats.mode function can be used to find the mode of any dataset. First, we import stats module by typing from scipy import stats. Then we can use stats.mode to calculate the mode of our data with 9 inputs. The result of the print command is an object with the mode value of 6 and its count 3 as the number 6 appears in the data 3 times. That's all for now. Stay tuned for the next video.